In this video, we're gonna talk about what's the best trading strategy for people with low capital. So if you're talking literally a few hundred pounds, a few hundred dollars, a few hundred euros of capital, this is for you. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. Okay, so this is a question that someone sent in, subscriber, viewer sent in, listen, got low capital, how do I start trading? It's actually very common and I understand it, you know, in a perfect world, you'd have a larger amount of capital to start trading. Um, but fortunately, where we are now with the current trading environment, current offerings, you can get started trading with just a few hundred pounds, a few hundred dollars, a few hundred euros. But what's the best way of using that money to actually learn to trade? Well, the worst way is to take that, say, let's say you've got 250 pounds um, in your account. The worst thing you can do is to just go as much, uh, use as much leverage as you can, trade as much size as you can with that. And you probably will last for kind of 10 trades. That'll be it. You might, you might double your money, triple your money, quadruple your money, and then you'd lose it all. You might lose it all straight away. It's just gonna be pure gambling that, guys. That's not what you wanna do. What you wanna do is try to make this money last as long as possible while learning as much as you can. Get rid of the notion that this is gonna turn into a million, okay? It's not gonna happen, it's un unlikely to happen. Anything can happen, of course, but it's unlikely to happen. The chances of that turning into a million by the end of the year are pretty, pretty, pretty remote, okay? So you have to reframe it and say, listen, I've got this small amount of money, um, how do I make that give me the best return in terms of education? So my recommendation, again, again I'm not really recommending um, per se, but this is the way that I would do it if I had, say, a couple hundred pounds to start an account. First of all, is open an account um, with a broker that allows you to open an account with a small uh, size. A lot of them don't. A lot of them, well, when I started trading, it was kind of £10,000 minimum or, or more. But now, fortunately, a lot of brokers will allow you to trade uh, with a small account, check out our preferred broker in the in the in the links below. But this here will mean that you can trade maybe a really small size. So what you truly want to do is you want to trade a strategy that has you know a long time to play out. So my advice would be to not day trade. Even though I'm a day trader at heart and I kind of love day trading, I would not day trade. The reason is because you have more frequency and occurrences of trades. In a, in a period of time, and so more likely that you're gonna lose your money quicker. So assume that you know this money is gonna go down to zero. If you're day trading and taking four or five trades a day, it's only gonna accelerate that process. I would look to swing trading, okay? So I would look to trading stuff to hold for multiple days, multiple weeks, even multiple months, and very, very small size. So the smallest size that you can do, pound a point, whatever it may be, uh, maybe a couple of positions, but what that gives you is it gives you market exposure. And this is what you're looking for with this small account size. You're looking to trade real money. So you've got some skin in the game, albeit a small amount. It's much more beneficial than a demo. A demo you won't treat with any uh, respect. Generally, you'll kind of throw size around. You'll trade just for the sake of it. Even when you've got just a small amount of money in the game, you've got some skin in it so that it means you're looking at it, you're managing the trade, um, and there's some meaning to it. So swing trade, scan the market for your setups, whatever that may be. And you're not gonna talk about kind of strategies in terms of, of, of actual setups here, but pick maybe a few setups that suit you, uh, or a few strategies that suit you. But the important thing here is that it allows you with the small size to constantly see how the market moves. Because when you're starting out, you just have no idea, would well, something go from naught to a thousand and back again? And, and some things do, but you're gonna get a feel for the stock or the instrument or the currency pair or the indice or the commodity that you're trading uh, and you'll just feel it. And that's what you need as a beginner. As a new trader, you've got a few hundred pounds in your account. You wanna just say, okay, well, I'm gonna look in the morning. I'm gonna look again at lunchtime if I get a chance. I'm gonna look in the evening. I'm gonna kind of make notes on what's happened. How's gold moved? I've been trading gold, maybe even long gold with a small size, whatever. The point is, all of this interaction with the chart, with the market, with how it moves, how it moves at the weekend, how it moves over data, you know, when the, when the what happens at highs and lows, and this stuff that you'll just learn and learn and learn, 
it's gonna be so beneficial for you, which is why in swing training small size, because you'll be not forced to, but you'll have a reason to, because you have a position on in a couple of things, and you'll be looking to see how that position is doing. How's that position doing? How's it doing? You know, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Uh, and because you're the smallest size possible, it's not gonna hurt you too much, too much, but you're getting education, you're just learning, you're seeing the ebbs and flows, you're just seeing the market reaction, you're seeing what pullbacks are, you know, how breaking through key levels, all the stuff that, you know, we take for granted as a, as a more seasoned trader, but as a new trader, it's just getting that market exposure, but in a way that is meaningful, which is why, you know, having real money is always, a, is always a good way of starting out as opposed to a demo. And just leave the day trading for now. Not to say you can't go to day trading, you know, later on, but you're going to have to assume that, you know, this money will dwindle. But in the swing trading, if you're taking one trade every kind of couple of weeks, you, you, even if you lose every trade, you're still doing the game far, far longer than you are day trading. And the point is to stay in the game for as long as possible to learn as much as you can about the market under real life market conditions. So that's my, that's my, if I was doing it, that's how I would trade. If I had low capital and I was just starting out, get an, get an account open, I would look for swing trading. I would perhaps pick four or five markets to watch whether that's maybe an index or a commodity or a currency pair, or even just one, you know, just one would be absolutely fine. Just picking one, um, just, just, just any, any strategy, but just getting a feel for how the market moves, how it flows, uh, and just getting a bit more used to what trading is all about. All right, guys, uh, comments in the comment section below. How would you do it if you had a small amount of uh, trading capital? How would you get started? Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Keep the risk managed as always, though. Always important to use stop loss and risk management techniques, whatever trading size you've got, whether you've got 250 pounds or you've got 2.5 million. Anyway, take care, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.